The second step of the SpaceMaker way is risk assessment. So we want to identify the risk drivers and iterate our concepts accordingly. Let's go back to SpaceMaker. So here we have the concept that we have identified as the one with the most potential. Note that we are in analyze mode. On the right hand side, you will see all the elements that SpaceMaker analyzes every time we draw or generate any concept. First, we have all the areas that we need to go through the buildings and also parking. When we want to analyze risk drivers, we quite often want to focus on the light analysis. Let's start with sun. We first want to check if there are any dark zones. It doesn't look like that's the case, so let's deep dive on daylight. Here we have a vertical sky component analysis, three different categories, everything that's above 27% vertical sky component where we will not have any issues. The light blue area where we will need big windows and maybe we don't want to have any balconies. And we can also identify the area that will be almost impossible to achieve the daylight requirements that we need. So this is our first problem that we have to address once we iterate on this design. Now, let's have a look at noise. In most Scandinavian countries, all apartments must have access to a quiet facade. Here we have three different colours. Red, meaning super noisy. Yellow, above the threshold for a quiet facade. And green, all the facades that are under the threshold. If we focus on the block here, we will see that either it's exposed to yellow or red. So we really would like to revise these out in our next iteration. We probably want to make these buildings here longer and this one shorter so that all the apartments can get a quiet facade towards the courtyard. Now let's have a look at view. Spacemaker measures view in two different ways. One is how far away is it possible to see? But maybe more interesting, we can see how much percentage of our facades can see an area of interest. In this case, we have defined the water as a point of interest. What if we change it to the units mode? You can see here that we have 284 units that have a view towards the water. However, I can still see some areas where we can make some improvements. So how can we iterate on our designs? We need to go back to the design duplicate our concept so that we don't lose the original and then let's start removing these corner building because we have some daylight issues in this area. Now let's try to solve the noise issues that we have identified. So first we'll make this building slightly shorter and we will extend this one so that it blocks all the noise coming from the roads. We also want to flip all the one aspect apartments towards west so that they are not exposed to noise but also that they get the view towards the water. And now let's do some adjustments so that we can get the better defined core chart. We want to make sure we have enough space in between the buildings and we want to flip all the apartments so that we get one aspect apartments towards the water. Let's open this corner as well so we can make sure that the block on the back can also get a view towards the water. Now let's run an analysis and the first thing we see is that we have now 316 units that can see the water, so much higher than what we had originally. Let's have a look at our daylight conditions. As you can see, our facades are now either light green or light blue. So it will be very easy to draw facades and balconies and still ensure that we will achieve great daylight conditions. So what about noise? All the apartments 
now get access to a quiet facade. So the project has become much more comfortable and we are done with this step. Join me in the next video to see how we can find the right height combinations and make sure that we get good living qualities as possible. See you soon.